if you guys want to join the PlayStation 5 Online Dynasty League for College Football 25, please check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. All the information is there and as well to communicate with me and others and get updated. Now, just to let you guys know before we get into the hypeness of today's video, just giving you guys my initial first hands-on impressions of the gameplay. Yes, people, that's right. Your boy got his hands-on experience with the gameplay. Now, between the select few and the game changer people that's in the program and certain content creators that got the ability to get flown out to EA and get their hands on with the early version of the game and much more, I was limited to certain gameplay aspects and there was a lot of stuff that was locked out. So you guys can do a comparison to what we had to offer with Maximum Football of what we was limited to. That's pretty much the same thing, but for the people that couldn't make it out like myself, we got a demo version copy of the game. So it's pretty much like a beta version of the game. So we already have the game downloaded, but there's a lot of stuff that was locked out that we couldn't access. Now, I also let some of you guys know on Discord that have questions and I was able to answer you guys questions based off what I experienced so far in that version of the game now. You know, once a game's released, it's probably going to be completely different and a lot more stuff is added. But from my experience so far, it's a big game changing difference from Madden. So you want to especially feel that big difference of an area when it comes to actually feeling for the game. As far as what you're accustomed to, and basically this is a comp player experience. So the way you have been competing on Madden in the past, Madden 24, just all the years that we had with Madden. You're going to have to pretty much change the way you play. So all those metas, all the money plays. Now, certain money plays still work, but pretty much how we've been accustomed to with all the tips, the tutorials that's been coming out, people that's trying to help your game out when it comes to competing. You got to completely change your play style. Don't copy pretty much anything that you have been accustomed to. Um, it's a complete game changer now um play to your own unique play style if you're a college fanatic you may have an upper hand um it's just the whole way that we have been playing with madden i feel like a lot of you guys are going to try to implement that play style into college football 25 and it's simply not going to work so for instance the meta style that we have for Madden 24 out dollar defense the free safety blitz the a got blitz um just don't do that anymore because Personnel matching is really going to showcase because the weight size difference is really going to matter now. So with the new wear and tear system, that's going to even make a bigger difference. So let me give you guys an example for people that love to sit in the same defense with the personnel. For example, the dollar defense, you're having all DBs at linebacker position or just even 335 defense and you're subbing in all DBs at linebacker and somebody is running the ball even if they're running the ball not even a heavy set but somewhat having like double tight end or a tight end in the fullback to receivers out they're going to pretty much get pancake blocks every single time your defense is going to be having less stamina they're going to get fatigued faster um, because they're getting pancaked and if you're going to sit in the same thing, it's going to showcase that your defense is not going to be able to really stop. So you have to change it up. You have to match the personnel matching based off position. It's really going to separate a difference between that. So they really focus on people that run the same play and personnel matching. You guys have to get away from that when it comes to college football 25. The option game is really unique. It's really different and it's pretty much a risk reward factor if you can master it, it's going to be dominating but it's also based off user timing so if you make a lot of user mistakes it's going to showcase and i don't recommend doing the option every single play also the journal pitch is no longer existence in college football 25 for people that love to try the glitch by jumping and pitching the ball yeah that's not a thing people um they completely got rid of that you can't do that 
and if you guys even try to do that i believe you can still jump but i think they completely took it out since the last time i played it but when i was able to jump and try the pitch or whatever it wouldn't let me pitch and on top of that if i got hit i'm fumbling the ball instantly so it's one of two they either t took it out completely where you couldn't jump and pitch or they left it in where you're able to jump but you can't pitch but if you get hit trying to jump you're going to fumble the ball for the most part now if you continue to do the quarterback option right and you're letting your quarterback get nailed every single time the wear and tear system is going to kick in so based off wherever you're getting hit it's going to drastically knock down your players ratings and if you're going to try to pass the ball where you're starting quarterback and he got hit so many times his rating is going to drop so much that you're going to see it when he's passing the ball you're going to throw a lot of inaccurate passes so that's another thing to take into consideration same play users or people that abuse certain star players if you guys wear and tear your player possibly your best player is going to showcase it's going to have a big factor another great thing that they finally tweak tune so they have a lot of interaction between the linemen they really focus on the trenches as well um you're going to see a lot of animations but the pass rush timing is going to feel like madden 21 where it's really quick um you don't have all day in the pocket um depending on how you do your adjustments you can really set yourself up decently with some good pocket presence timing um with good blocking and adjustments but if you're just picking the play and just trying to quick hike people and certain people is you know either blitzing or have a great pass rush defense even just five against four so five offense linemen against four d linemen one of them is going to have like a double team block the rest is going to be individual matchups um if there are elite pass rushers it's going to showcase how fast they're going to get to the quarterback it's really going to show a big difference when it comes to the timing of pass rush much more realistic around that three to four second, you know, time frame, um, just depending on the matchups, the overalls. But in general, they really stepped up that aspect of getting pressure to the quarterback. So good luck to the people that like to sit in the pocket or pretty much drop back like 30, 25 to 30 yards, um, especially if you tend to do that a lot and you're trying to pass it. You're not going to make a very accurate pass and um, you're going to end up losing the icons. So when you lose um, focus of the icons downfield, um, your quarterback's just going to chuck the ball super inaccurate. Now, it comes to a chess game when it comes to offense and defense based off coverage, um, zone dropping, as well with the offense having the ability to um, switch the route yardage that they can do, which you guys see right here. If you don't make the proper adjustments or don't know what you're doing, you can get killed against somebody that does. And if both of you are balanced at doing that, it's going to really be a chess match. So overall, in general, for both sides of the ball, not one side can be OP, but it can depending on how you go about it. But they really made a balance between both offense and defense. I guess you can say the new feature of the switch stick, if you get used to using that, it's going to really pay off, especially when you're trying to make adjustments and my quick hikes you and you get stuck in your alignment, you can just switch to a certain player, um, depending on, you know, where you're at and where the ball is going to be thrown or so you can literally switch to a DB instantly and end up picking off a pass. So once you guys get that down and, get acquainted and adapt to that feature alone oh it's going to pay off for people that play defense and um you know it's really going to be benefit them especially when they get caught trying to make certain adjustments and people like the quick hike so as far as running the movement is very very smooth and we don't have an op move like how we had in madden 24 which juke was op spin move you didn't really see the spin move done as much or you know like man 25 beta the spin move has pretty much flip flop with the juke move juke move is not op but the spin move is op so for some reason madden keeps messing that up in college football 25 the move depending on what you do juke spin stiff arm 
there's no really OP moves. They're very balanced and they're based off user skills. So if you got crazy work like I do, oh, you're going to destroy people, especially people that don't like to use or tackle and try to depend on the CPU tackle for them. You're really going to break free a lot of the time. And if you have great user skills, it can be rewarding, especially when you have timing hit sticks. Oh boy, you guys are going to have so much fun when you guys get the hit stick opportunities. Now, with the hit stick option, you have to really time it and know who you're hit sticking with. So, if you're trying to hit stick a big back with a DB that is lower weight, and also if they don't really have a great hit power rating and things of that sort, um, you know, the power backs just going to run you over pretty much. You guys got to know who you're going about to hit stick with. So you guys can't just freaking switch hit sticks. So you switch player instantly trying to catch a hit stick because a lot of the times the ball carriers is just going to bounce off. So it's based off timing and who you're hitting with. So it will be rewarding against shifty backs if they don't really do too much, right? And they're just trying to run right by you. Um, if you time a hit stick with a linebacker, oh boy, a lot of fumbles is going to happen. So it's kind of like a risk reward factor, but also it's going to separate the user skills in that aspect from pe people that don't like to tackle and then people that are very good at tackling. Special teams, man, is very, very difficult, um, especially if you're playing in away games with a low tier team school or depending on, you know, your kicker's class, like if he's a freshman or sophomore kicker and, you know, he's playing in a big game or not a big game, but away game, um, it's going to be very, very difficult to kick. So they really focus on special teams uh, with all the different type of situation scenarios. And um, it's not no freebies anymore, man. You actually have to try to hone in on the special teams kicking because if it comes down to the wire or you know, just trying to get points, it's going to be very difficult and hard. So I expect you guys to try to practice that a lot more now because it's really going to have a big factor and it's going to matter when it comes down to you needing actual points. If you really can't score touchdown and you need at least some points, but your defense is good, those moments is going to matter trying to get the kicking down so it's pretty much a new way to play man new way to play new way to adapt um it's going to be a fun and challenging experience in you know college football 25 also another big thing the cpu um how you say it adaptive logic is really interesting and really well done so especially for the online dynasty league, which I'm expecting and hosting as well. When it comes to having just CPU matches because you don't have a user to play that week or so, the CPU is really challenging depending on who you're playing. And the unique thing about it is that when you do play them, they do adapt to everything you do. So in the past with especially Madden, you can just pretty much run OP plays back to back, right? And you can dominate that way. Now, if you're like throwing a slant or like to the flat every single time, eventually the AI is going to adapt to stopping that. So the way they've done this is very unique. It's brand new and um, you guys just got to see it to believe it. It's going to be very interesting playing CPU, especially for people that love to play offline. So they made the CPU very challenging and unique way to play in a way so like i said you guys once you get your hands on it especially for the offline play users oh it's going to be a interesting and possibly fun experience so can't wait till you guys get your hands on you also can see blocking assignments that is back in this game um it really comes in handy especially when you're trying to adjust and it gives you an insight of, especially when you run the ball, um, you can preview how the blocks is going to happen. So that will give you a better chance to make a vision read on how you want to go about running the ball. The mental and physical or whatever the abilities is called now, the different type of tiers that these abilities have for certain players um, 
it is game changing based off uh, especially if you're having the way games um you have a top tier quarterback with um certain abilities that can help him from getting rattled it really comes in handy if you don't if you have like a freshman quarterback um trying to play in a big game oh boy you might as well pray try to get momentum on your side build up the offense by running the ball first before passing because it does show so things like that um they really done it very well when it comes to the abilities and those type of factor situations it's really cool and unique how they done it so once again you guys gotta get your hands on experience to really um see the difference but as you guys see a little bit of the gameplay here this is pretty much how it's showcased there's much more to it and a real in-depth look on how the abilities work um but the way you play face off with madden especially with the abilities it's a whole new way to play when it comes to college football 25 so there's a lot to intake when it just comes to the abilities and you know the matchup differences and things of that sort also another big thing and final thing that i'll probably cover is the overall difference it's really going to showcase between you know the best and worst players uh they finally pretty much tweaked that where for example you're not going to see a bum cornerback keep up or dominate over a top overall receiver when it comes to one-on-one so they really did separate a big difference between great and trash players um doesn't mean though that you can't still compete with you know lower tier teams against top schools it's just based off how you go about using um the play style play scheme and things of that sort and user skills so you're still able to you know have a chance to play but it's going to showcase a big difference between the overall gaps oh also before i forget the passing is a little bit more fine-tuned it does come down to timing it's literally like nba 2k shot meter um you can't just dominate without acknowledging the meter on passes uh the different type of passes as well um you really got to make sure that you're able to time within the meter now i believe you can turn it off but you know the meter really does help when you're trying to pinpoint passes but it's all based off user skills as well with ratings of course but you know all in all taking everything into consideration going into college football 25 it's a new way to play new style to come in all that madden stuff that you're accustomed to throw out the window it's time to adapt to the college football way and you know take into consideration that the game is a very well done and balanced now of course you know, this is just from the early stage that I was able to get my hands on with the game as a demo version. And, you know, I was impressed from everything that they showcased. So who knows if they're sticking with that. Of course, they're probably going to polish up some certain areas and things of that sort that we gave feedback on. But other than that, the game is a very, very different and very, very good. So hopefully I answer majority of your guys' questions about the gameplay of course you know ea released all their blogs about what they've done improvement wise so of course we know everything but from a hands-on experience and from a comp play standpoint i know a lot of comp heads wanted to know how it is when it comes to competing is certain things still going to work the same way or not um all i can say is that some may work the same way but it may be more difficult and for the most part um, most of the stuff that you're accustomed to doing in Madden is not really going to work in college football 25. It's a completely different experience and a way to play. So sorry for such a long video. We didn't even get to the actual part of the video, which is highlight footage of, you know, past tradition entrances in college football game, which is 11, 12 and 13, which I just mixed up a few of, um, interesting, um, introductions and things of that sort. Um, it's going to be lovely miss now that we're moving forward to college football 25 but today's first part of the video was just to pretty much give you guys an insight of my hands-on gameplay impressions and um give you guys my point of view on it and hopefully i answered majority of you guys questions so 
Once again, if you guys are looking forward to joining PlayStation 5 Online Dynasty League or just want to communicate, ask questions, get updated, as well as see any Madden 25 beta gameplay footage, please check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. I'm going to let you guys write out for the remainder of this video with the highlights of what the main video was supposed to be about. Um, but other than that, I'll see you guys next time, and I'm out. Peace. Another season is upon us. Freshmen arrive wide-eyed with dreams of future glory, while seniors prepare for their last chance at immortality. There are only a handful of these opportunities in a man's life, a handful of chances to distinguish yourself from the rest. It's on these fields where history is made, where legends begin and heroes triumph. Traditions tell the story of what you represent, of those that forge the legacy you uphold. When you come charging out of the tunnel, 100,000 people will be watching your every move. How you respond to that pressure is what defines you. These are the moments that reveal your toughness, your determination, and your pride. The Roughnecks on the Sooner Schooner. Ralphie charging out of the gate. And Chief Osceola planting his spear. The time has come. Your time is now. the sound you've waited months to hear. Its images are some of your oldest memories. It's caused some of your greatest triumphs and your biggest heartbreaks. This is college football. It's tradition, pageantry, and intensity. You can visit every school in the country and never see the same thing twice. It's the option at Georgia Tech, the pistol at Nevada, and the spread no huddle. It's Howard's Rock, the smoke in Miami, Every Saturday, you tap that sign. This is what makes college football special. This is why your school is more than who you root for. It's who you are. The wait is over. College football is here. Live as the players take the field at Mountaineer Field in Morgantown, West Virginia.
Bowl here in Columbia, South Carolina. It's one of those nights when you wish this game was being played indoors. Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee. Here come the Seminoles. In downtown Chapel Hill, we're live at Keenan Memorial Stadium and getting set for a terrific game. College football on ESPN is presented by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. We've got a great one today between the Rutgers Scarlet Knights and the UNC Tar Heels. College towns in America. We come to you from Camp Randall Stadium in Madison, Wisconsin. We're kicking off under the lights thanks to Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. It's the Oregon State Beavers and the Wisconsin Badgers. It's the biggest stadium in the Western Hemisphere, the third biggest on the planet, and right now, it's going crazy. Football from Beaver Stadium at Penn State is on the way. Tonight, we've got a great college football game brought to you by Lowe's. Let's build something together. We've got the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Nittany Lions of Penn State. South Bend, Indiana, on the campus of the University of Notre Dame. some college football brought to you by EA Sports and ESPN. Tonight's game is between the UNC Tar Heels and the LSU Tigers. There may not be a louder, more intense atmosphere anywhere in college football than Death Valley 
Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge. First it drizzled, then the heavier rains came. Now the question is, is it going to cause problems tonight? on the campus at the University of Florida in Gainesville. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium, the site for this college football matchup. College football on ESPN is presented by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. We've got a great one today between the Tennessee Volunteers and the Florida Gators. the many traditions that you'll see here at Clemson Memorial Stadium, the site of today's game. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm joined by the former quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. And we'll also hear from Aaron Andrews in a bit. Tonight's college football action is brought to you by Spark, because better athletes make better football players. Our game's between the Auburn Tigers and the Clemson Tigers. Many in Michigan, they won't even say Ohio State, just calling them Ohio instead. Both teams have defined excellence in their long and storied history, and the Wolverines and Buckeyes set to do battle in the game. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's College Football, Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit on the call. We're in the Buckeye State at Ohio Stadium, the battlefield for this incredible college football matchup. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler in the booth, along with Kirk Herbstreit. Tonight's primetime matchup is brought to you by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. And is between the Michigan Wolverines and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. This is it, arguably the best rivalry in all of college football, and boy, this one should be exciting. And it's almost time for kickoff, but first, let's send you down to midfield for the coin toss. 